communism is a red plague that threatens all of Europe unless we can hold its spread. In June 1941, Operation Barbarossa, the Fatherland's audacious preemptive strike against the Bolshevik menace, won us countless victories and took our forces to the very gates of Moscow itself. But any army, even one such as ours, must give ground when facing an enemy possessing seemingly limitless numbers. In 1942, the High Command decreed Moscow unworthy of German blood being spilt in its name. Instead, it sent the Sixth Army south to secure a different prize, the city of Stalingrad. Its capture will sever the Soviets' vital trade route to the Caspian Sea and allow us access to the oil-rich city of Baku. Our inevitable successes shall deliver a devastating blow to the already crumbling Russian war machine. The men have entered the city and are poised to launch a series of attacks designed to wipe out the remainder of the Soviet 62nd Army. Resistance has been sporadic. No doubt the enemy is digging in, determined to extract as high a price as possible for the city named after their leader. We will methodically locate each enemy strong point, isolate it, then destroy it. No doubt the Russians will, whenever possible, carelessly spend Bolshevik lives, launching suicidal counterattacks. So we must be cautious. While the world has never seen a force as highly trained as ours, the Russians have proven themselves stubborn opponents, and it would be foolish to underestimate an enemy as desperate as they. I am confident of victory, though the thought that our flanks are guarded by Romanians and Italians fills me with unease. I wish as to the men for a swift victory and swifter journey home. Gentlemen, welcome to Feldersatz Company 200. While we have you here, we're going to just check that some of your basic training has sunk in. We'll focus on basic weapon skills, but before that, we'll check out your fitness. So, run to those sunbags! Run! Los, los! Run! Los, los! And over the barricades! Over them! Both sets! Move! Finally! Now on top of that log and over that pit! Schneller! Keep moving! Over to the ladder! And now up it! Down the other side! Run! Los, los! Dive to prone in front of the wire! Let's see how you crawl, manna! Jump up and sprint! And dive again! Run! Los, los! Crunch through here, idiots! Heads down! Faster! Well done! Not too out of breath, I hope! Now, move through the various weapon stations and let's see if you know your weapons! This is the Mauser C96 pistol! Holds 10 rounds and is reloaded using clips. Now, load your weapon. Good. Well done. Check your ammunition. Good. Well done. Free fire at the targets on the range. Good. Well done. Now move on to the next station. This is the MP40 machine pistol. Fires the 9mm Parabellum round. Full automatic using a 32 round magazine. Cover is all important. It can hide you and save your life. Just be intelligent about what you take cover behind. Now take cover here. Now take cover. Blind fire is the term for firing where you cannot see. Useful if you don't want to expose yourself. Use blind fire now and see what you can hit. Good. Well done. You can fire from cover or risk exposing yourself more to return fire. Free fire at the targets on the range.
Good. Stand up straight again. Good. Free fire at the targets on the range. Good. Well done. Now to steady your weapon and be more accurate with your fire, control your breathing. Free fire. This time control your breathing. Good. Well done. Move on to the next station. This is the Mauser Car 98 rifle. Single shot, bolt action. And reloads using the five round clip. Obviously, accuracy is improved if you aim properly down the sights. To be more accurate with your first shot, estimate the range and dial in the sight. 300 meters is a good zero point for your rifle, for example. Practice dialing in the range and fire on the targets down range. Don't forget to bolt the rifle after each shot, soldier. Much better. Bullets follow the law of gravity. They drop towards the ground as they fly. This is another reason to dial in your sights or just aim high. Open fire at the targets again. High and left. Aim low and be more careful on the trigger. High and right. Bring your aim down. Don't snatch the trigger. High and left. Aim low and be more careful on the trigger. High and right. When you aim down, don't snatch the trigger. High and right. When you aim down, don't snatch the trigger. You missed completely. Focus on the target. High and left. Aim low and be more careful on the trigger. High and left. Aim low and be more careful on the trigger. High and left. Aim low and be more careful on the trigger. On target. Good shot. Target, good shot. On target, good shot. Good. Well done. Move on to the next station. This is the MG34 light machine gun. Bipod mounted to keep it steady. It uses a 50 round drum. Deploys a weapon in front of you. Good. The rate of fire is so high on this weapon that the barrel can overheat. If you overheat it too far, the barrel may burst making the weapon unusable and you defenseless. Replace the barrel now. Open fire down range, small bursts. Good. Now use the single shot mode. Open fire. Good. Move on to the sharpshooter station. 
This is the standard Car 98 with a sniper scope fitted. You can fire from a standing, crouched or prone posture. The more stable you are, the more accurate your shots will be. From standing position, open fire! Good, from the crouch, fire free! Good. Phone position. Open fire. Good. Bullets follow the law of gravity. They drop towards the ground as they fly. This is another reason to dial in your sights, or just aim high. Open fire, it's the targets again. On target, good shot. On target, good shot. On target, good shot. Good. Well done. Stand up straight again. Look carefully. Your rifle still has the standard iron sights. Use them if you're forced to engage an enemy close by. Use your iron sights and engage the targets. Good. Move on to the grenade pits when you're done. Now take cover here. This is a standard hand grenade. Explosive head, wooden handle. Fuse pull in the base. Toss the grenade underhand into the pit in front of you. Now throw some grenades overhand into the pits further out. Well done. Remember, once the fuse is pulled, it is also ticking down. If the enemy are closed, pause before throwing for a more instant effect. This is cooking your grenade. Just don't hold it too long. This time cook the grenade for a couple of seconds. Pause before releasing it. Well done. Move on to the fixed machine gun. This is the MG-34 mounted on the Lafette Triport for sustained fire. Here it is belt fed, more stable. Just remember not to overheat the bell. You still have iron sights for more accurate fire. Use them. Range is free. Open fire at the truck. Head out of this station.
Before you go, just remember that you can use your weapon in close combat, melee. It's the barrels with your weapon. Now charge at the barrels! That's the idea. Don't let them get the better of you in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Well done. Goodbye. And good luck. Victory! We'll all get iron crosses for this. 31st August 